Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Very happy Ramadan to all of you beautiful and wonderful people out there. This is the very first look to my Eid makeup trilogy. I kind of want to come up with three looks this Eid for you guys and this one is definitely the more dramatic one. I don't think I'm going to get as dramatic as this but I think that this is really nice for those nights where you're just going to go about and you know just have a nice family dinner. I thought that I would kind of get a little bit more creative and do something a little bit more glamorous on my channel since I haven't done that yet i'm very safe zone with my looks and this is a little bit more out there i did a dramatic wing i have dramatic lashes and i also just used the um anastasia modern renaissance palette for this look so if you guys have this palette definitely take this out because all of the colors are from this palette and make sure you subscribe to my channel to see the other makeup looks that i'm going to be doing for this eve and i will see you guys in my next video bye I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base and pop that all over my lid. This will cancel out that um, dark coloration that we have on our lids and give us a blank canvas to work on. So I'm going to take the burnt orange shade as a transition color. You don't have to be too precise with this color just because we're using it as a transition shade so it's something that you don't have to be super careful about. And then just to add a little bit more of a cooler tone look to the eyes, I'm going to take Buon Fesco and pop that into my crease as well and blend it in with the burnt orange shade. Now I'm taking Love Letter with that same brush and I'm going to place it where I place Buon, uh, Buon Fesco and Burnt Orange. But I'm going to concentrate the shade a little bit more towards the outer corners of my crease and then slowly make my way inwards with and then just taking a clean fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend all those colors together. Now with a pointed, more precise brush, I'm going to take the shade Venetian Red. And I'm only going to focus this towards the outer V of my lid and also my crease. I'm not really putting it on my lids as much because I'm going to go back in with Red Ochre. And I'm going to place this on the outer parts of my lid and then blend it together with the Venetian Red color. I'm going to go back in with that NYX eyeshadow base and I'm going to take a detail precise brush. This one is by Real Techniques and I'm just going to place that eyeshadow base on the inner half of my lid. This technique just kind of is going to make that lid color that we put um, further on, it's just going to make it pop. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush with my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to take the shade Primavera and I'm going to pack this on that eyeshadow base that we applied earlier on. I love doing this trick because you can see just how much that lid color pops. If I didn't put that base on beforehand, it wouldn't have popped as much and the eye look would seem a little messy with all the colors just interacting with one another. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Clay Gel Eyeliner and a Sigma Angled Brush and just do a winged eyeliner. Now how I wanted to do this eyeliner was have the wing be flicked out a little bit more further. Make sure that it's kind of wispied out so it's not such a thick eyeliner look. It's more just kind of like prominent that yeah there's a wing liner there but it's just going to make the eyes a lot more elongated and I feel like it ties in really well with the whole look. And now I'm just going to take a matte black eyeshadow and pack that over the gel liner to make it more black. Taking the L'Oreal Butterfly Sculpt Mascara, I'm just going to coat one layer of this on my lashes. We are going to go further in with falsies, so I didn't go too crazy on the mascara. And for falsies, I'm just taking my Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes, and look at that. I'm actually applying my lashes on camera. I hope you guys are proud of me because I was a little proud of myself. It really was. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've already moisturize and primed my face. I primed my face with this Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I really like this because it kind of like minimizes pores and fills them in. Since we are going for more of a dramatic foundation today, I thought that I would use this. I take the Urban Decay Naked Skin 
um, BB cream. The reason that I'm using this alongside with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation is because this is so orange while this is too pink. And so mixing them together just kind of gives me more of like a yellowy golden undershade. really love the finish of the Giorgio Armani foundation, but I got the wrong shade. I got the shade 5.25. It's very, very pink toned. Like the shade itself isn't like super light, but the undertone is so pink and I absolutely hate that. I feel like I look gray sometimes. The reason I like to color correct underneath my eyes first is because I have a lot of veins underneath and I also have a lot of blueness so this just kind of cancels that out. And also since the concealer is lighter than my actual skin tone and you put a lighter concealer and you're trying to highlight with it, um, it can look a little bit ashy and gray so that's why color correcting also helps because you're putting a lighter concealer on top of your dark under eye circles and so it tends to look a little bit gray. So color correcting beforehand just kind of allows it to neutralize the under eye area or wherever you're trying to apply that lighter concealer. I'm just going to go with the shape tape. Now this is spanking high coverage so I'm not going to put a lot of this. I'm just going to put some here. I kind of do it like in that dot motion. I don't know, like some people go ham with this and like, I mean, do you? So not trying to judge, but I don't know, like I just, I can't have a lot of this stuff. And I'm also concealing around my mouth area because I have like hyperpigmentation there. take the Laura Mercier translucent powder with my beauty blender and just kind of set underneath my eyes. I'm going to slightly bake it. Um, I'm not going to put too much powder but I'm just going to put a little bit just to get a little bit more of a brighter effect without needing to go too light on the concealer. I'm going to take off that bake that we did earlier. Let's just clean off that powder. this palette I'm going to take the shade beneath and I'm going to take burnt orange that we put in our crease as a transition color in the beginning and just smudge out that Venetian red color. Put some black liner on my waterline. For the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade, shade Vermeer, I think. My Laura Mercier Cream Contour Kit and take the contour shade number two, which is that medium shade to blend it out with my beauty blender. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques contour brush for this. And just slightly with that contour brush or the contour powder I'll take the product and as I'm kind of uh, swiping it over here on my cheekbones I'll go a little bit closer to my temple area just to kind of blend the 
contour in because I've noticed that if I just contour here and not blend it up to my temples, it looks a little bit too harsh. I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop. I also take the highlight a little bit closer to my cheeks, like to like the apple of my cheeks. I place the product and then I'll just kind of blend it out with my finger. For blush, I'm going to take my Kiko blush, it's a shade Fusion blush and it's just in the shade 1 so it doesn't really have a name. And it looks like this. It's a neutral mauve shade. I thought that I really want to go neutral on the cheeks just because we have so much going on on the eyes. Taking my Makeup Forever um, Aqua Lip Lip Liner. And this is in the shade 5C. And I'm just lining my lips normally. I don't overline my lips ever. Okay, I can't get with the eye hook. Take the Tarte Lip Paint. And this is in the shade... Uh, delish.